Coach, we're just a stone's throw from the Delaware River. We've got some water to contend with ourselves. A steady rain falling at Lincoln Financial Field. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. Set to go now on a wet and rainy afternoon. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Ready, break. Mike Smithy, Mike Smithy. Got you, boy. I got you, boy. Now Saquon Barkley, a man who played collegiately here in the Keystone State. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. And no pitch there and no chance either as he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and they're going to face a third down. And it's third down. Break. Hey, team six. Team six. One, two, three, two. Operating from the gun. Forbes will get this out to Barkley complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. And a nice start there to the aerial attack to pick up the first. And I think preseason is officially over now. Getting into the groove of the regular season, that's a great way to get started. First drive of the season, what a nice completion. Hey, hey, Ward! On first down, Forbes. And this is Shepard on the catch. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 10 yards, good for a giant first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. A first down carry for Barkley won't lead to much as he'll take this forward for maybe a yard. It's second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, here's Barkley. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Bravo! To throw on third down, Forbes firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 39. Well, he's looking sharp right from the get-go here. Tough division. They needed this kind of a start. But I think this is part of where scripting comes in. We always hear about the scripting of plays, how they're going to be called. 
Everyone dress rehearses their script, the and right set. now they're following it to a T. And for that opening drive, so part of the script's still to come, right, partner? Yeah, no doubt about it. We've got a ways to go with that, but you can tell that they worked on the script the entire week in practice, and it's paying off for them. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. On second down now, Barkley, there he goes inside the 30 and down to the 28-yard line. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. Relatively small sample size, but that's his longest run of the first quarter. Bounced it out to the outside to make it successful. And to get there, you actually need some help. It's not just your pure speed getting to the corner, making sure that the blocking is taken care of inside so the pursuit doesn't get you. And oftentimes, those wide receivers, tight ends that might be flexed out, they've got to control the edge and make sure no one from the outside can spill the play before he gets there. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Nigel Bradham brings him down. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Ready? Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Off the play fake, Forbes. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Matthias Farley. And not much on the return there. He'll take it only up to the nine-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Open man, Arthega right side. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward. But they kick it here, and it's good. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it. And that's what you don't want to do. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Right back to Coleman here on first down. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and seven, Wentz, eluding the pressure right. Open man is Arcega right side. 
And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. J.J. Artega Whiteside. 42 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. As they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter. As they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Second and six. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 42. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big time completion. A first down carry for Barkley. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Man, that's trash. That's trash. Hey, Alpha. To throw on second down. Forbes got the connection here to Bourne. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off, okay? So they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. It's a pickup of three, but it brings up what will be an interesting fourth and one. If it was sunny, maybe this is a field goal attempt, but with the rain, they're going to go for it on fourth down. And they'll run for it with Barkley. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. From the gun, Forbes. And now he'll tuck it and run. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. On second down, Barkley. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Ready to break. Tricky's the mark. I'm here all day. Check one. Leo, Leo. 36, 36. Yeah. They keep it with Barkley on first down. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Tackle made that time by Brandon Graham. 
The defensive line made pretty easy work of the offensive line that time. And people get tired of the cliche that the battle is won in the trenches, but it's a cliche because it's true. And how about the battle right there? One on the edge, and the ball carrier did not benefit. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Saquon Barkley. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. The Giants on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and nine. On the draw, this is Barkley. And he'll be tackled right on the 10, well short of the first down. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Rosas kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Ah, you like Come that on. One? What does that mean, break out the, just because you're you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I, I have no idea. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But Jeff, that is into the clear. The 20, 10, touchdown, Philadelphia. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. Not a whole lot to recap on that drive. Just one play, 75 yards to the house. Yeah, it's a long way to go. And remember, rarely is it a straight line 75 yards, too. Got to have a little extra in there. So whatever the final number is, a well-deserved seat on the bench, a little oxygen if he wants it as well. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the lead is now 14 to 10. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. Corey Coleman, the 40, 30, 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Giants. From one end zone to the other, 101 yards. And the Giants are once again going to retake the lead. Rosas good with the extra point, and it's now 17-14. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was yeah. real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. 
We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. Brickstone, travel. Check three, check three. They'll run with Coleman on first down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. From just shy of midfield, Wentz. This is brought in by Gibson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. As a passer, he's always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. On first down, it's Coleman. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Coleman now. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 10 yards there and an eagle first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. They'll run on first down. Coleman, and here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. All day, just like that. Just like that. Check, check. Fresh up. Fresh up. They go quickly here out to Doxon. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Try to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. Well, maybe a nice psychological boost there just to get back to even with that field goal as we head towards half. Coaching 101 always says at halftime, play it like it's 0-0 on the scoreboard. Well, in this case, it's level, right? Same score each side. Just start over. Now you get the second half to play. Let's go, The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Time here for likely a couple plays if they want it, but with the field position what it is, maybe better suited to just sit on this one? I'm with you totally. I would sit on it and get into the locker room and, and start over. But if they do decide to try and make a play, we know what the basics are. You run draw, you run screen. I would maybe run a little swing pass and try and get my lineman out in space and see if they can chop a hole into the secondary and see if he can run a little bit. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 and his...
guys will go to work at the 21 yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what they're And he fires one that's intercepted. B.J. Goodson with a pick. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, no, but stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. And credit the tackle to Derek Barnett. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll go to Barkley again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. I'm getting the sense that Fletcher Cox is making offensive linemen want to take the week off when they hey. have to play against him. <laughs> it's a regular routine for him, isn't it? It really is. That play there, that's him all day long. Good luck trying to block him and keep him from disrupting your offense. Dancing to his left. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rounding, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. And Rosas puts this one through. And with that, they take the lead here 20 to 17. And they got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they've ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a play fake. Wentz. He's got his man. This is Dodson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Got the guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. He's got the first down here inside the 30, and he takes it all the way down to the 22. That good for 22 and a first down. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. Man left, man left. Hey! Here's Coleman. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And finally wrestled down at the eight-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. First and goal at the eight-yard line. Here we go, here we go. Waiting! Let's go, D. Let's go! Alert! Kill, kill! Alert! Alert! <laughs> 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. Second and goal from inside the five. On second down, it's Coleman. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Taking it in from four yards out as his guys are able to regain the lead. Gold to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 20-point yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now it's Barkley. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. And an alley to run. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Ready. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. And here we go. Watch the, watch the pass. Watch the pass. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Watch that three. There. There. Check the go. They'll run it again with Barkley. And a five yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28 yard line. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Ready, ready. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. 61, match box light. Hey, box truck, box truck. Five. Operating from the gun, Forbes. He's got his man, it's Kendrick Bourne. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Well, partner, when you ask anyone other than your QB to throw the ball, you must have a lot of confidence or you think you're really gonna fake them out, and it looks like they did exactly that. Yeah, going deep in the playbook and a great grab on the other end. Barkley on first down, running into a wall as he stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. 
They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Again, it's Barkley. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth quarter lead. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? From the gun on third down, Forbes. Open man is born, and he'll be out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And he takes it into the end zone for a giant TD. Saquon Barkley taking it in. And the G-Men have taken the lead here in the fourth. PAT up and good by Rosas. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. That's complete to Isaiah Whiteside. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A gain there of 21 yards. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on. And this one no different as we come up on a first and 10. On the ground, it's a handoff to Coleman. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things. But the defensive guys... Hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he's got this down to the 35. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 35. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, Something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. That makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. That one caught by Gibson. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. That one a first down pickup of eight. 
I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Don't let him Great 15, great 15. Slam, slam, slam. 54th mic, 54th On second and 11 now. Wentz. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Eli Apple. J.J. Arthega Whiteside, the intended receiver. Well, I don't think we'll have to look very hard to find our play of the game. That was an absolutely monstrous big play right there. Backs to the wall. The offense has it in the red zone. Driving for the winning score. And he says, not on my watch. And that is one happy bunch on the sidelines. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley brought down around the 16 or 17. Had a nice move, but couldn't free much space. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Off play action, Forbes. This will be caught by Brown. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. From the gun, Forbes. It's hauled in by Shepard. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understanding where they are on the field? Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. A give to Barkley out of the gun. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. They'll keep it on the ground. Barkley. Seven yards there and a first down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And they'll take a knee as the clock runs under a minute to play. Got it. Check my 50. Mike is a 50. Check my 50. Tighten up, tighten up. Pull it together. And the Giants will kneel it here out of the victory formation. It's a loss of a yard. 
70, Indy. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long. And it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football. Yeah, real football. Not preseason football yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play and maybe the starters don't play as much. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason. <laughs> and now I'm listening to you. So for the Giants, it wasn't always pretty, but they do eke out the week one victory here by a field goal. And they'll get another road test next week as they have to go to New Orleans to take on the Saints. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try to rebound next week on.